How long do you think it will take for autocratic governments until they realize the vast potential in digital health technologies and until they learn how to harness their powers? 20 years? 10 years? Well, if you happen to be a dictator of such governments, take a notepad and listen carefully. After this video, you can start right away. This is Bertalan Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the medical teachers. At the moment, there are rather few governments with a digital health policy. Examples include Canada, New Zealand and Australia. Although there is already an abundance of great technologies out there ready to disrupt national healthcare systems. Perhaps officials shaping healthcare policy do not understand how artificial intelligence, variables, health sensors or virtual reality work or cannot see their potential, but that's just temporary. After all, if you're a dictator or a tyrant, I dare you to come up with something better that keeps your people in check than their own health. Throw me a frickin' bone here. I'm the boss. Need the info. Health insurance, for example, is already an ugly business, even in developed democratic countries. There are way too many interests, players and lobbyists around it. And through digital health tools, insurers, in many cases the state itself, can make educated investments. They can decide to reward those who make active efforts to stay healthy, to stay fit, which also means that you, aspiring dictator, can turn it all into a discriminative, dystopian nightmare. What if you only provide patients with insurance if they allow you to access all of their data, including data coming from sleep and fitness trackers, the blood pressure and ECG they store, and the gadgets they use to assess their general well-being? What if you leverage that data to make premiums higher for, for high-risk patients? What if you single out your political opponent? That's Dr. Big Brother in action. Let's take a look at other health tools as well. Social companion robots are on the rise. These mechanic creatures are able to carry out all kinds of tasks and have interactions with humans. In the future, they might become little helpers in the kitchen, they can keep the house safe, teach the children and support the elderly, from reminding them to exercise, to take their medication and to keep them company when they feel lonely. I hate hikes. While my program's goal is to improve your health, I'm able to adapt my methods. Would you prefer another form of moderate exercise? I would rather die eating cheeseburgers than live off steamed cauliflower. What about me, Frank? But you could use them as tools for surveillance. You can equip them with cameras and other recording devices to spy on your people. Social companion robots will probably have access to the health information of their hosts as well, and they can report you back any data that might show this content with the leadership. They can be the perfect little spies. You also might have heard that the Internet of Things is the next big thing. Smart homes of the future will probably work as entire systems of connected devices communicating with each other. For example, your smart fridge could let you know whether there isn't enough fresh tomato inside, could even order it online, let the delivery man in and refill itself without you noticing anything. I think you know where I'm going with this. IoT can be the next big thing for dictators as well. You can have access to the heating, the electricity and the security system of your citizens. You can punish this lawyer or disobedient citizens by withdrawing fuels or cutting off electricity. Just think of Russia, how they keep half of Europe in check through their gas pipelines. With the Internet of Things, you can translate that idea from the macro to the micro level easily. Let's be honest here, I haven't gone crazy. On the contrary, I'm really excited about digital health and that it can make patients the point of care. But it will bring dangers and ethical threats we have never seen before. We have to be careful, we have to watch out, we have to be vigilant and recognize if anyone wants to act based on this playbook. 